students, welcome to our Science Quarter 1, Module 4, Grade 7. The title is, How to Distinguish Mixtures from Substances Based on a Set of Properties. How to use this module? Before you start answering the Supplementary Learning Material, or SLM, kindly set aside other tasks that will disturb you while enjoying the lessons. Read carefully the instructions below to successfully attain the objectives of this kit. Have fun! First, read carefully all the contents and follow the instructions indicated in every part of this SLM. Write in your notebook the concepts about the lessons. Keep in mind that writing develops and enhances learning. Perform all the provided activities in the SLM. Let your facilitator, guardian, assess your answers. Analyze conceptually the posts and apply what you have learned. And lastly, the most important is enjoy studying. Parts of this module Expectations, pretest, looking back to your lesson, brief introduction, activities, remember, check your understanding, and the last part is the posts. This will measure how much you have learned from the entire SLM. Expectations Lesson 1 Mixtures and Compounds. Lesson 2, A Home of Substances and Mixtures. This supplementary learning material will help you to distinguish mixtures from compounds according to its composition and properties. Classify materials as substances and mixtures include chemical formula of substances with their common names and chemical names of materials found at home or in the community. Familiarize chemical formula of common mixtures and substances found at home or in the community. Determine unknown materials as substances or mixtures based on the given descriptions statements. And lastly, appreciate the importance of mixtures and compounds in daily living. Let's start with the pre-test. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 questions and all you have to do is to read and write your answer on your science notebook. Looking back, elements and compounds. Complete the graphic organizer below by filling in it out with the terms provided in the box. So you have your mixture, substances, elements, compounds, homogeneous, heterogeneous, and matter. I will answer the first box. So you're going to put here matter. So sa ibang box, ikaw naman. Next, brief introduction. Every day, you encounter mixtures and substances. These are many things around you that you may not recognize as you deal with your daily living. Some are gases like the air you breathe, liquid like the water you drink, and the solid like the food you eat in your meals. Mixtures and substances have things in common yet vary in composition and properties. You have learned previously that pure substances are homogeneous and further classified into elements that consist of one kind of atom and compounds containing two or more different kinds of atoms chemically joined. Like substances, mixtures are classified according to composition. Mixtures may contain two or more varying components. Thus, variations in the composition may tell whether a mixture is homogeneous with uniform properties and appears as a single paste or heterogeneous mixtures with non-uniform characteristics and appears with two or more pieces. Last week, napag-aralan natin that pure substances are homogeneous and further classified into elements na binubuo ng isang uri ng atom and compounds the combination of two or more elements chemically joined. And we also discussed the mixtures that it is divided into two types, homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixtures. For homogeneous mixtures, it is uniform and Uniform properties and appears as a single paste. Example, coffee. It is a combination of coffee powder and hot water. So that is an example of homogeneous. 
For the heterogeneous mixtures naman with non-uniform characteristics, ibig sabihin, you can still identify the substances or the ingredients. Example, fruit salad. Kahit minix mo na yung iba't ibang klase ng fruits, still, you can identify the ingredients or yung mga prutas na nandun doon. Kunyari, yung apple, yung orange, banana, so madali mong nadidistinguish. Have you ever tried to help your mother prepare meals or snacks in the kitchen? If you did, that's an amazing experience. Now, granted that you are in a cooking session with any family member and you are about to prepare an appetizing salad, a bowl of fresh salad that contains slices of lettuce, carrots, cucumbers, tomatoes, corn kernels, and many other with salad dressing like mayonnaise, mustard, and thousand islands. The properties of individual ingredients are different from each other, but they all retain each property like taste, shape, size, and other characteristics as they are only combined physically. This physical method of combining ingredients, substances, or materials is referred to as mixtures. So that is an example of mixture. And that example, that salad, the appetizing salad, is an example of heterogeneous mixtures. Because you can still see the individual ingredients and are different from each other. But they all ret retain each property. Katulad nung lasa nila, nung shape nila, nung size nila, hindi nagbabago. At madali mo yung nakikita. So that is heterogeneous mixtures. Sa homogeneous kasi, yung pinagsama mo is the other part or the other substance is dissolve already. That is homogeneous mixture. Kaya nga, di ba, nung hinalo mo yung coffee powder sa hot water, yung coffee powder ay natunaw. Right? So, that is homogeneous mixture. You cannot identify the substances anymore because it is being dissolved. Kaya nga, ang another term for homogeneous mixtures ay solutions. Next, activities. Activity 1, a tour at home. Finding mixtures and compounds. Objective, classify compounds and mixtures found at home. Materials, anything that you can see at home, in the kitchen, refrigerator, bathroom, laundry area. Okay, what are you going to do? Visit your kitchen, cabinet shelf, first aid kit, refrigerator, and even your bathroom or laundry area. Bawal pa rin lumabas ha? Sa loob lang ng bahay. List down things that you have seen at home and classify these products into mixtures and compounds. List down materials or substances found at home. Put a check based on its classification. Materials, substances, mixtures, and compounds. Example, meron akong nakita sa refrigerator na sopas. So, merong soup sa aming refrigerator. Yung soup ba ay mixture or compound? So, tama. The answer is mixture. So, maglalagay ka ng check dito. Another na nakita ko sa kusina namin is table salt, asin. Yung asin ba ay mixture or compound? Very good. Compound. So, check mo yung compound. O, kayo naman sa ibang numbers ha. Activity 1.1. Sort it well. You are sorting materials at home as to mixture and compounds. You are going to perform a similar method of segregation by classifying the following materials into a mixture or compound. So, ilalagay nyo lang sa space or sa blank kung ang example ay mixture or compound. So, we have orange juice, table salt, olive oil, sugar, water stream, and distilled water. Sagutan ko yung number one, orange juice. Ano kaya yung sasagot natin? Mixture or compound? Very good. So, this is an example of a mixture. Combination or you just mix the juice powder, the orange powder, and the water. So, mixture siya. Okay naman sa ibang numbers. Next, let's move on to Q1. Now, classify the sorted materials as compounds and mixtures. What are your basis in identifying the materials as mixture or compound? Ano yung pinagbasihan mo? Bakit mo siya tinawag na mixture or compound? And how did you classify the material as pure substance, compound, and mixture? Let's move on to activity 1.2. Mix it well. 
Our objective is to classify compounds and mixtures operationally according to their composition and physical properties and prepare mixtures based on available materials. So, lahat ng materials nito sigurado meron sa inyong kusina. 2 tablespoons of table salt, 2 tablespoons of mango seeds, 2 cups of water, 4 tablespoons of cooking oil, 2 tablespoons slices or toyo, and 4 pieces transparent glasses. Remember, do not forget to seek assistance from your parent or guardian in preparing the sample of materials for this activity. Isalin nyo si nanay sa activity na to para safe na rin at bonding nyo na rin ni nanay. Procedure Prepare the materials listed above and observe their physical properties. Fill out the table that follows with your observation based on the physical properties of each given material. So what are you going to do? So you have here five materials, table salt, mango seeds, water, cooking oil, and soy sauce. So sa first column, ilalagay nyo lang ang kanilang color. Sa second column, ilalagay nyo lang kung solid, liquid, or gas. And appearance, kung uniform or non-uniform at ilan ang kanilang observable face. Okay? So, example, table salt. Anong kulay niya? And then, solid, liquid, or gas. Ano ang kanyang itsura? Uniform or not uniform? At ilang pieces ang nakikita nyo? Next, how did you determine the physical properties of a given material? Paano mo na-describe yung kanilang physical properties? Ano yung naging basihan mo? Let's move on to number 3. Based on your observations with the set of properties in Table 1 and the composition of the materials as indicated on the table below, identify whether each material is a compound or a substance or a mixture. Material is a compound substance or a mixture. So, dalawa lang pagpipilian nyo. Is it a compound substance or a mixture? Huwag kayo malilito ha. Pag sinabing compound, chemically joined. Pag mixture naman, physically joined. You can use your bare hands sa mixture. Mixing. Okay? So, let's try. First material is table salt. It is a combination of sodium and chlorine. Right? And the question here, is it an element? I Sorry, is it a compound or a mixture? So, anong sagot natin for the table salt? Compound or mixture? Okay? Yes, the correct answer is compounds because it is a combination of two elements, the sodium and the chlorine. Right? Kaya, ang sagot natin dyan is compound. O, kayo naman sa mongo seeds, water, cooking oil, and soy sauce. Huwag kalimutan na when we say compound substance, it is chemically joined and pag sinabing mixture, physically joined. Okay? Let's move on. Mix the sample material as indicated in the table below. Fill out the entries based on your observations by answering each question with yes or no. Napakadali lang nito mga bata. So, meron tayo ditong four. Example ko ha. 1 tablespoon of table salt plus 1 cup of mud water. So, paghaluin nyo lang yung isang kutsara ng asin and 1 cup of water. Tapos, sagutin nyo na tong 4 questions. Are the materials completely mixed? Naghalo ba sila completely? Yes or no? Are you able to see the separate components? Yes or no? Nakikita mo pa ba yung asin pagtapos mong paghaluin yung table salt or yung asin and one cup of water? Are the particles settled on the bottom? So, nagstay ba siya sa bottom? Bumababa yung asin sa ilalim. And the last one, can you identify the components of the mixture? Yes or no? So, nakikita mo pa ba yung asin at saka yung water? Kaya mo pa bang ma-distinguish nasa yung asin at nasa yung water? So, yes or no? So, kayo naman sa 2, 3, and 4. Cooking oil, mongo seeds, and an soy sauce. Okay, let's move on. Q5, complete the table below. So, you have here materials mix. We have salt plus water, oil plus water, mongo seeds plus water, soy sauce plus water. What are you going to do? You're going 
to write here your answer, it says here the appearance. How many paces present in the combined material? So, ano yung mga paces? Solid, liquid, or N? Gas. So, ilan yung nakikita mong pace? Classify the materials as homogeneous or heterogeneous mixture. Homogeneous, uniform. Heterogeneous mixture, non-uniform or not uniform. Type of combined materials, is it compound or mixture? So, ganun lang yung gagawin mo for Q5. Let's move on to Q6. Based on the results of the given procedures, what is formed if you mix two or more substances physically? So, pag nag-combine ka daw or nag-mix ka ng two or more substances using your bare hands or mga kutsara tinidor na gamit mo dyan sa bahay, ano yung mafuform? Ano yung mabubuo? You just write your answer here on the blank. Modify and be creative. Try your activity. You may design and explore more to check your understanding. For example, try to mix more sample materials. For example, nagluluto si nanay sa kusina. So, pwede mong i-mix yung mga vegetables na hiniwa niya, right? So, just be creative. Remember that the mixture is a material form when two or more kinds of substances are mixed in a way that no chemical reaction will take place. In a mixture, each component retains its characteristics and the properties of a material components are only mixed through physical means. Mixtures can either be homogeneous, uniform, you can see one pace, or heterogeneous mixtures, you can see or you can still distinguish the substances that you mix or you can still identify the ingredients. Nung pag-mix mo, depending on the size of the material being mixed, variation in the size of components determines how many paces will appear in a mixture. And remember that the compound is a pure substance formed when two or more elements are combined chemically. A compound has a distinct characteristics that is unique from its components. Its components are definite with a specific number of atoms and masses. For example, the potable water you drink is non-flammable liquid compound formed by two flammable gaseous elements of oxygen and hydrogen. Remember na ang mixture ay physically combined at ang compound naman ay chemically combined. Combination of two or more elements chemically joined. Ibig sabihin, it undergoes chemical reaction or chemical processes. Samantalang sa mixture naman, it is a combination wherein there is no chemical reaction. Okay, let's move on. Check your understanding. So, there are five um, statements here. Read each statement carefully. Determine whether the statement is a fact or a bluff. Write fact if tells us a fact and change the underlined word if it is a bluff. I, answer num I will answer number two. A compound is a heterogeneous mixture. Is it a fact or a bluff? Correct. The answer is bluff. So, it change natin yung heterogeneous mixture ng homogeneous mixture. Okay? So, ganun yung gagawin nyo, ha? Let's move on. Let's move on to post-test. Choose the correct answer for each given question and write the letter of your choice on your answer sheet. So, meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 questions. Good luck! Let's move on. Lesson 2. A home of substances and mixtures. So, pre-test muna tayo. Choose the correct answer for each given question and write the letter of your choice on your answer sheet. So, meron kayo ditong 5 questions. Madali lang yan. Looking back at your lesson, fill it out. The following are terms and concepts about mixtures and compounds. Place the terms inside the Venn diagram to show their relationships. Similarities and differences. So, meron tayo dito mga words na pagpipilian at ilalagay nyo dito sa ating Venn diagram. So, ito sagutan ko na ha. So, dito, pwede nyo ilagay dito ang mixtures. Tapos dito naman compounds. Tapos dito sa, sa circles or sa Venn diagram, kayo na bahalang maglagay. Have you seen these materials at home? Let us classify these common materials with their common name, chemical name, and formula in its importance. 
So, the table here shows common materials with their common name, chemical name, and formula, and its importance. So, you are going to read these seven examples. Ito yung mga common names at merong chemical name at chemical formula at mga uses. So, ito, babasahin nyo to ha. Let's move on to your activities. Objective, classify given materials as substances or mixtures. Activity 1, where do I belong? Materials, pictures, clip art of materials, substances, and mixtures found at home. The following are illustrations of materials found at home or in the community. Classify each material by listing it on the column where it belongs. So, meron tayo ditong bubble tea, salt, mayonnaise, orange juice, cornstarch, baking soda, ice cube, and jar of pickles. So, isusulat nyo lang dito, mixture ba yan or substances? Okay pa. Next, Q1. How did you classify the materials? Paano mo nasabi na mixture siya? Paano mo nasabi na substances siya? Let's move on to activity 2. Have we met? Familiarize the substances and mixtures found at home. Materials, pictures, procedure, classify the following items as indicated in the chart given below. Materials and its components, types, and properties. So, ito. Mamimili lang kayo dito sa first column kung pure substance or mixture. And this one, property, homogeneous or heterogeneous mixture. I'll answer number one. Table sugar. Is it a pure substance or a mixture? Very good. It is a pure substance and it is a compound. And this is an example of homogeneous mixture. All pure substances are homogeneous mixtures. Remember that. Okay? So, kayo naman dito sa baba, ha? Table sugar, pure substance, homogeneous. Next, let's move on for Q1, Q2, and Q3. Have you met the materials listed above? So, are you familiar with those materials? Yes or no? How often do you use them? Cite two examples. And how did you classify the substances as a pure substance, mixture, homogeneous, and heterogeneous mixture? So, paano mo nasabi na pure substance, mixture, homogeneous, and heterogeneous mixture? Remember, our home is filled with mixtures and substances that we often encounter and use in different ways. We need to know that they are so that we will be aware of their components and what are they made of. A pure substance is made of only one matter and its composition is the same throughout. It is a homogeneous. Pure substances could be an element or compound and generally classified as solid, liquid, or gas. Some examples of a pure substance we usually have at home are water, table salt, table sugar, and alcohol. On the other hand, a mixture is a composed of several substances that are bonded physically. It is or its components vary and retain their respective physical and chemical properties. A mixture is classified into two as homogeneous, uniform, heterogeneous mixture, non-uniform. This property depends on the size of the substances being combined in the mixture. Most of the materials and chemicals we use at home are mixtures of pure substances. They are usually found in our kitchen like the condiments we use in cooking such as soy sauce, ketchup, vinegar, fish sauce, mayonnaise, and many others. So, ang dami-daming examples ng homogeneous at heterogeneous mixtures dyan lang sa loob ng inyong bahay. Check your understanding. On the chart given below, put a check in the box if the set of terms are correctly grouped. If not, write the term that does not belong to them and identify if it is a mixture or a pure substance. We have your salt, sugar, oil, MSG. Put check or write on the odd term, mixture or pure substance. So, oil is an example of mixture. So, yun yung naiiba, yung oil. Kasi yung salt, sugar, tsaka MSG, eh, mga pure substance. Natatanging oil lang yung example na mixture. So, kay naman sa 1 to 5, ha? And the last part, the post test. Write the letter of the correct answer that best completes the sentence or answers the question. So, meron kayong 5. Ayan, ang dali lang yan. 
So, kung meron pa kayong mga questions or merong mga hindi naintindihan sa ating module, you are free to ask your science teachers. Pwede nyo kaming... Ako mismo, as your science teacher, pwede mo kaming i-PM, tawagan, or i-text, right? So, enjoy! And sabi nga kanina, the most important thing when answering the module is, enjoy what you're doing. Enjoy studying, students! Tandaan sa panahon ngayon, ang kalusugan ang importante sa lahat. Ingat!